Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to the life of an unpaid content creator. I do not feel like making content today. Right. Hey, I'm Sahand. I go by the Brown Barista on Instagram. I make coffee content that no one asks for. I spend thousands of dollars on camera equipment and coffee gear. And um, today, I just don't feel like making content. I don't feel like filming shit. I don't feel like setting on my tripods, the lights, fighting with my girlfriend about staying out of the kitchen so I can film my stupid videos. As you can tell, I'm kind of having a tough time today. It's been raining for weeks. I haven't been training Ziggy and definitely haven't been taking care of myself. But today, I have to make some content because I signed a contract with Malconig for their new grinder which has been an absolute pleasure to use. I owe them four videos, four photos, and four stories. I'm supposed to drop the content on the fifth of each month, and today is the fourth. And of course, I have been waiting until the last minute. Today I'm gonna be filming on my trusty FX30. This is a mirrorless camera, and one of the most important parts is actually getting a good lens. This one is versatile, but super heavy. And you also want an external mic on top because the internal mics on a camera just aren't that good. All in all, this is $3,200 setup, not including the tripods that I have, the lights. And what's funny is I used to shoot videos on my iPhones and it would go viral all the time. And now that I have all this dope shit, um, my views are actually kind of struggling recently, so. Oh my God, someone throw this guy a lifeline. So the difficult part about this project is I have to film workflow for the grinder without actually showing any other products. Just kind of talking with you about my plan and what I'm doing kind of already makes me feel a little bit better. I honestly started this video kind of depressed and I'm, I'm okay, I think we can do this. Yeah, okay, let's go. All right, gotta, let's get the poof right. My coffee bar, all this shit is mine. Here's the Malconig. It's a 54 millimeter flat burr grinder. It's definitely on the higher end side for uh, home coffee setups, and it can do anything, any kind of brew method you're looking for. You guys are right now on a different Sony camera. That is the a7 IV. It is a hybrid camera. It's really good at both photography and video. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it on this tripod. Um, Typically you're making video content you want to do a storyboard so you want to plan out exactly the shots you'll need I'm probably not gonna do that. I want to tell a story in this video I want to just fill up the grinder grind some coffee pull a shot and somehow do that Without showing any of the other brands or products or anything like that depending on how those shots come out We'll just kind of decide what's gonna be in the final video or not um, but I would be happy if I got like three or four shots that kind of helped tell this story of a lonely brown man pulling a shot of espresso by himself with his $800 home grinder. Actually, let me film like a quick story. It's an all arounder, so it can do anything from espresso, drip coffee, French press, and you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it in the next few weeks. Uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it in the next few months. I don't know, how long am I gonna have this grinder for? You're gonna see a lot more of it for the next, you, and we're gonna be diving into it over the next few months, so stay with us. What does that even mean? The first shot, I wanna have myself pouring beans into this hopper right here, and I wanna kinda of do it in slow motion. So I'm gonna shoot at 60 frames per second at a shutter speed of one over 125. Then the second shot is gonna be me putting the portafilter into the machine, and again, probably slow motion, uh, putting the coffee grounds into the basket. So I almost forgot, you actually want to put your camera sideways or vertical when you're shooting for phones and social media. Or you could shoot in 4K and then crop it. When I'm shooting slow motion, I shoot at a higher frame rate so that I can slow it down without it looking choppy. Hopefully that shot looks good because um, taking all the beans out and doing that over again would be pretty much pain in the ass. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. I think we're gonna call it. They're not paying me shit for this. That, that viewpoint was below the grinder, and this next one, I kinda wanna be a little bit above so I can see the coffee grounds moving in. I'm gonna move you guys a little closer there too. All right, I got my next shot lined up. And again, I'm shooting at 60 frames per second, and you always want your shutter speed to be double that. I can't lie, this grinder is really satisfying to use. The third shot, which is me tamping, 
with the grinder in the background. All right, we have our espresso freshly ground. And now I need to get a shot of me tamping this with the grinder in the background, but not any other products really noticeable. Definitely none of this shit. Right, so. Sorry, I'm, I keep looking at myself. I'm supposed to be looking at you. I actually tamped about 10 times to get the right shot here. All that red stuff you're seeing on the screen, that's the area that's in focus. That's called peaking assistance. So this is kind of the shot I'm going for. If you have a shiny espresso machine like mine, you will see your reflection and you will look like an alien blob. My girlfriend is an amazing cook and baker, and it honestly hurts me that I have to take up her space like this. Well, just patiently waiting for my, my dear girlfriend to be done. The show must go on. The next shot is gonna be maybe me steaming milk. We'll see how it comes out. The tricky part here was pulling a shot without showing the Lilith logo. That hurts. I'm gonna have to go higher up. This is so heavy. <laughs> Bless you. Always purge your steam wand. Pouring milk like into this cup right here and I'm gonna be focusing on the grinder. Yummy. I think I have an idea for kind of a finale shot. I'm just gonna rest the cup down next to the grinder um, and that's it. It's the money shot, you know? Something like this for an ending shot. I have one more idea. I'm gonna actually go around. I thought it'd be cool to put myself in the video. It didn't end up looking as good as I thought and it didn't actually make the final cut. Then I realized I was wearing a motorcycle Christmas shirt so I put on a plain tee. I was pretty invested in this idea. And that's pretty much it for shooting. Next up, I take my SD cards and I put them in my computer, load up Final Cut Pro, and take a look at the footage I got. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Editing has actually become the fastest part of this whole process for me. The hardest part is taking half an hour of footage and putting it into a six second reel. Let me know if you want me to dive deeper into how I make my cuts and edits and the different tricks that I use for social media. Good video? What do you think? What's going on down there? Suspicious. Suspicious dog. All right, that's a wrap. You focus on me. I'm here. It does not do a good job of focusing on me. Hi.